So, obviously, we are at one of the best MMA camps on the planet. What advice do you have for people who want to get into the sport and carve out a career like you have? Well, uh, yeah, like you said, uh, we're here, it would have been over 10 years ago. I, thought, I don't know how long I've been uh, training in Thailand, but it was the first taste of full-time fighting for me, which was an absolute game changer uh, for me. To be able to come uh, to Thailand and you know, have a facility like this, yeah, obviously right next to the beach as well, which is incredible. You talk about training in paradise, like this is it. Uh, but just to have the facilities and have everything you need in uh, the one spot and to be able to train uh, full-time was an absolute game-changer for me. You've seen uh, the levels really did go up. Um, obviously, you know, we've got the Muay Thai classes and the striking, had great grappling, and um, it's just incredible. So uh, I'm sure most of you that have been training here can uh, see what it's like. It's uh, just an unbelievable place to train. So when you're carving out your career, your training, you're definitely going to have a lot of obstacles and things to overcome. Sometimes you question yourself. You've, again, you've, you've, you've achieved so much. What advice do you have for people who are looking at maybe carving out a career, they're looking at getting ready for their first fight, maybe they're a little bit nervous, the big lights, the big stage. How do you prepare yourself for things like that? Uh, yeah, well, look, it depends uh, what it is. Obviously, uh, you know, when there's big, big fights coming on, you're always going to have, there's always going to be questions, yeah? You're going to have the voices in your head, you know, the doubts and all that, but that's just a part of it. You know, they're going to be there. It's just uh, trying to always win them battles. Uh, we call them like, you know, playing them games in your head. Even when you're in the gym, you know, there's times where you're like, well, you're tired. Should you, should you go hard on that next rep? And just win them battles. If you're winning them battles every, every time in the gym uh, in preparation, constantly pushing yourself and um, always going to that next level, uh, you know what I mean? And accepting that, yeah, this is, you know, one thing that I will say is, you know, everyone always talks about being uh, comf you know, comfortable in the uncomfortable. You hear that term uh, an awful lot. Um, it's very hard to really actually put yourself in uncomfortable positions, but in the gym you can definitely do that. So I've, uh, I've sort of changed that. Um, I don't know about well, the way I train anyway, and I'm sure a lot of you is here. You're never going to be comfortable with some of the sessions you're going to do, especially the fight simulators. But there's one thing you can do is accept the uncomfortable. And, uh, and that's something that I've, I've, I've been able to do. I accept every time it gets uncomfortable. And then, uh, you know, problem solved, find a way around it, knowing that I'm going to get through it and just get one step over the other. So and, uh, that's just something I've always done and um, it just gets easier and easier. So every time there's a bit of adversity, I don't shy away from it. I'm like, bring it on and, uh, you know, I accept it. I accept adversity and I uh, move uh, full steam ahead.